Okay, okay, okay. There it is. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's going? <laughs> guys, it's Manny again, and I realize I've been away for a while. Again, I have a little bit of explaining to do, and hopefully, you allow me. Um, so, first and foremost, I guess I should probably explain what the purpose of this video is. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about two different things. I'm going to explain why I'm in the Caribbean, because I've been asked. And I'm also going to explain, I guess, the, the general breakdown of med school and like what you go through, what you cover, uh, and some of the resources that we use, because that's the question that's come up in the last little while as well. Why am I in the Caribbean? Um, so. If you didn't already know, I spent my first year of medical school in Newcastle, England. Um, the reason being that my school gave me the option and me and about 70 other people in my, or sorry, me and about 80 other people in my um, term, they gave us the option to study our first year of general basic sciences uh, in England. We got to see a little bit of Europe. We got to travel a little bit. We got to see parts of Europe close by. In the second year of med school with my program, we are in Grenada in the Caribbean. And the reason being that's where the school is based. And the third year is gonna be in the States. So the third and fourth years are gonna be our years of clinical rotations. And the majority of people who come from my program go to New York or to New Jersey or to Chicago. Some people go to Michigan. A few people go to different places in the States. Majority of people go to New York. So I'll be finding out in the next month or two, probably, because we're in November now, I'll be finding out in the next couple months where I'll be going in the next year. So the next thing is what's going on with school? Like how is school broken down? Now, you may have noticed if you've been following me for a while now, you may have noticed that my uploads have begun, have gotten a little bit sporadic. The reason being that I really like YouTube and I really enjoy videos, but it's not my first gig. I'm gonna be a medical doctor. I'm supposed to put time and attention to that. And the thing is, the news that isn't really news is that second year of med school is hard. Second year of med school is really, really, really hard. And not in the sense that the content is super hard. It's not in the sense that you're like battling or like, like wrapping your head around crazy equations. It's just a lot of stuff that you're learning very, very quickly. Just going back, first year of med school was based around anatomy, physiology, histology, and I had one more course in mind. First year of med school was based around anatomy, physiology, histology, and biochemistry. Now those are the four courses that we did in the systems module, in the systems model. So what you do is that you'd have all those courses going throughout the year and you basically go from system to system to system. So you'd go, uh, we started off like foundation to medicine course um, module. We also had like microbiology. So we talked about like lac operons, translation, transcription, um, all that kind of stuff, the genome code, all that. Um, and, then, and then we did a musculoskeletal unit. I had to say that weird. We did a musculoskeletal unit. Uh, we also did an endocrine unit. We also did a uh, digestive system unit, which is really, really biochemistry heavy, which you can, you can guess. Uh, we did a neuroanatomy unit or a neurosciences unit. And again, so it, within each of those systems, you did histology, anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. And the idea was the first year is where you learn how the body's supposed to work when everything's going well. That's how that works. Second year, they throw everything upside down. What you start doing is you kind of do a similar system setup, but now you're doing pathology, um, you're doing microbiology, you're doing pathophysiology, pharmacology for the second half of second year also. Throughout the whole year, you're doing a course that my school calls CPD, and that's like the clinical and physical diagnosis course where you do like OSCE prep and stuff like that. So that's what we learned to do, like clinical techniques and um, seeing patients and seeing sympaths. So like I said, first year, you kind of learn what the body's supposed to be when it's all good. Second year, you learn what can go wrong in the body and some of the pathologies and how to deal with them. And the second year is when you sort of start learning how to be a doctor. And then hopefully by the time you run into clinical rotations, you will then start really, really getting the, the gears turning on how to be an actual future doctor. Now, as far as resources and stuff that I use for school, um, a lot of us obviously use the school notes, the study notes that are provided. Now, sometimes interpretations are different. Sometimes what the prof was trying to say doesn't really get across. So like we have other stuff that we use also. Um, some of my favorite things that I found in the last little while, I'll start you off with the one I found. You guys have seen uh, this company before and I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, safe to say. Um, they're called Lecturio. Lecturio is a really good online, uh, really good online service for uh, supplementing your medical school notes as far as like 
Path, Farm, Biochem, all these courses, endocrine courses. So you should definitely check them out. What I'll do is I'll leave a link at the bottom uh, in the description. So you can go there, get 25% off a lecture of membership. And make sure you tell them uh, Ianu Live sent you and we're good. So lecture is a really good one that I enjoy. Another one that I like a lot is, and this is one that up in terms of really push, Sketchy. If you haven't played around with Sketchy, you should probably check it out. This is a really artistic dude who found a way to animate microbiology into interesting stories and interesting like memory tricks to help you uh, remember the concepts for sketches. It's pretty cool. Another one of my, that we like in my program, Pathoma. Pathoma's been really big for pathology. Uh, the man's name is Hussein Sattar. He's an MD out in Chicago. I forget the exact hospital. I will put that in the description also, but he basically created a succinct, summarized pathology textbook, which goes into detail, well, let me not say detail, but it goes into uh, a lot of the pathology that you'll encounter in second year especially. Practice questions, now I mentioned Lecturio already, I forgot to mention that Lecturio does have a bunch of practice questions, but me, when I'm on my game, when I'm on my A game, I like having as many practice questions as possible. So two of my favorite resources for practice questions, uh, one is Pretest. Pretest is a line of books that basically covers every system and every uh, setup that you'll find in medicine. And Pretest has a bunch of questions for you to use for you to do uh, practice questions. They're, they're great. I use them before basically every exam, at least I try to. Another one is past test. Past test is one I have not been using to the best of my ability, which is full capabilities. Past test is a surprisingly good resource. Just check it out. It's a free app. Uh, you get on your iPad, get on your iPhone, and um, you have all kinds of questions that you can prep for like USMLE and like step two as well and stuff like that. So definitely check out those. So like I said, pretest, past test, uh, sketchy, pathoma, and the big one, lecturio. So make sure you check all those out. I will link, leave links to some of the other stuff I use as far as textbooks. Um, I also use like BRS here and there. I'll leave links to those in the description and hopefully you guys will find them really useful. I need to go get ready for class. I just really wanted to get back on the video game. I really enjoy the videos and I miss making them. And um, hopefully, hopefully we can get to a good, decent, consistent schedule. And we'll keep on doing this even throughout, you know, second, third year, fourth year, maybe even throughout being a practicing physician. Hey, wish me luck. Guys, I love you so much. I sincerely appreciate you watching the video. And I can't wait to get you back up with some more content. I will see you guys later. Bye.